everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day. Because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is gonna share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious sweet potato pie. This recipe right here, it's pretty much bomb. So easy to make, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, you make it Gina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my sweet potato pie before. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. If, um, <laughs> get it together, spit it out Gina. You know you're gonna need some sweet potatoes. We got some fresh sweet potatoes and we have washed them off with a little bit of salt and cold water and then we've pat them dry. You will need to decide whether you wanna make your pie crust or go out and purchase it like I do. It's so simple and it, it's never let me down, always delicious. So we have pie crust here. And then over this way, you will need two room temperature eggs. We will be using a half a stick of room temperature butter and a couple of spices. So right here, we have some vanilla extract. We have some nutmeg and some cinnamon. Now, if we make our way back over this way, we have some evaporated milk we will be using, one fourth of a cup of flour. Now, the flour is optional. You can make it with the flour or you don't have to use it. And then also, we're gonna use some sugar. We're gonna be using one cup of sugar. You can use a little bit more. Sometimes I use like, one cup and, and one third of a cup of sugar. You can use white and brown sugar, or you can just use all white or all brown. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. So what we've done is we went ahead and peeled up uh, our sweet potatoes. Now, you do have the option to use the sweet potatoes that come in the can, which is typically what I usually use. But this year for Christmas, I wanted to show you all how to do it with the fresh. Now, I know some of you are gonna ask me, so what do you think, Gina? Do you think it tastes better using the fresh or using the kind in the can? Um, I would say using the fresh, but when you use the fresh, you gotta put a little bit more, more work in, you know. And then now some people, when they use the fresh, what they like to do is take them, wash them off really well, throw them in the oven and bake them, or throw them in the microwave and get them nice and cooked, and then peel them and cut them. Me personally, I like to peel them as we did, give them a nice wash, and then cut them just like so and boil them like they were potatoes, like we're gonna make mashed potatoes. So behind me, I have my wok that we will be using. I'm gonna fill that wok with some cold salted water, just a little bit of salt in it. And we're gonna cook these for around about 20 minutes. 20 minutes is gonna, 20 to 25 minutes, these will be nice and fork tender. And what I mean by fork tender is, you're gonna be able to slide your fork into the potato and it's gonna slide out with ease. If that happens, your potatoes are cooked to perfection. Now, I know a lot of people like to say, oh no, don't boil them because you lose a lot of the nutrients. I'm not thinking about the nutrients when I'm making a dessert. You know, really I'm not because we have so much sugar and butter and cream and all that stuff. But now, if we were making something healthy, then I would go the route of um, possibly baking it and then you will get all of the nutrients. Okay, so now that we have our potatoes nice and cut up, and I'm gonna cut a little more extra up because what I wanna do with the extra potatoes is I'm gonna make me some mashed sweet potatoes for my lunch. That sounds like so good. So now, but all you are gonna need is two and a half cups of sweet potatoes. I'm gonna continue to cut these, and when I come back, we'll get them put in our salted water just like so. So we're over here at the larger stove. This is cold water. When I make potatoes, I always like to start off with cold water. I really feel like it, they cook up better when you start them with cold water. Okay, so when I told you all to salt your water, just a little bit is needed, not a whole lot. That's enough, okay? Because in this recipe, we are gonna put a pinch of salt. If your butter is not salted, you're gonna use a pinch of salt, but if it's salted, don't worry about it. Okay, I love, love, love to cook sweet potatoes because 
as to boil them because you can literally watch them right before your own eyes they'll turn a really vibrant orange color so now we're going to cook these for 20 to 25 minutes until fork tender so I wanted to show you all the sweet potatoes. Remember I said they get a beautiful color that I love? That's the color that I love seeing. Look at that. Oh, yes, I love it. Now listen here, what's gonna happen is in a few minutes, I'm gonna check it to see if it's fork tender. It's been about 18 minutes, almost 20 minutes, and then we'll go in and check it together and make sure that your fork slides out with ease. And if it slides out with ease, that's fork tender. We'll drain these babies and proceed on with our amazing recipe, Gina Young style. I seriously just made my husband some coffee with eggnog and marshmallows, and it is delicious. Ooh, try it sometime. Okay, so we said we're looking for fork tender. We're gonna put this fork in to a potato and see what happens. And it is sliding out with ease. I wish I could pick one up for you. Let's see. Look at that. That's what you're wanting. Beautiful slid out with ease. That's what you're looking for. Okay, everyone. So I have measured out two and a half cups of our sweet potatoes. This is a two cup measuring cup. And I filled it a little bit extra to get that half a cup. And we're just going to set it into our mixer. Now listen here. If you don't have if you don't have a stand-up mixer, what you'll use is just mix it up by hand and it'll be just fine. So we're going to measure out three-fourths of a cup of evaporated milk when I come back. So now that we have our two and a half cups of our cooked sweet potatoes, we're going to put three-fourths of a cup evaporated milk. Now, I've heard that some people, something really interesting, some people like to use um, sweetened condensed milk rather than sugar, and I think it's really interesting. One day, I'm gonna give it a try, but not today. Not today, but I will try it. Because they say that when you use sweetened condensed milk, it gives it a really silky taste, or a really silky feel. Okay, so here's our one cup and I've packed down the brown sugar. Going right in, if you want a little bit extra sugar, go ahead and grab you some more. It can't hurt the recipe. I'm gonna put a little bit more, okay? Just a little tiny bit more, all right? And then we're gonna add that one fourth of a cup of flour. I like to put the flour because it really helps to bind your sweet potato pie together. Just one fourth of a cup of flour. I'm gonna put some vanilla in. I, one day I'm gonna get also one more thing. I'm gonna get some vanilla paste. I wanna try it in a dessert and see how it turns out. I'm really interested in that as well. Go ahead and put you some cinnamon in. And when I'm making desserts with cinnamon, I get all crazy with the cinnamon because I love it, all right? And then the nutmeg, you wanna be very careful with it. You don't even wanna use too much. A little bit of nutmeg, trust me, it goes a long way. You could even use fresh nutmeg. Okay, that's enough right there. And we're gonna use a half a stick of butter, mix everything together. We're gonna to put the two eggs in last. This butter is room temperature. You don't want your butter and your eggs to be really, really cold. Let it come up to room temperature and it's gonna be perfect every time. Okay, so when I come back, We'll start making my mouth is salivating. We'll start mixing up everything, throw our eggs in just like so. Starting to mix up a beautiful mixture. Oh wow, and I can really smell the cinnamon and the nutmeg. It smells delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and get those eggs cracked in just like so. Two large eggs. Now let's talk about something really quickly. Typically, when I purchase my pie shells, they're not deep dish like these Marie Colander um, pie shells are. But since this is a deep dish, this recipe might only fill up one of them. But normally I use I usually get the regular one, but they were just out of pie shells everywhere. So this is what we purchased. Let's see how much it fills up this deep dish. If we have enough left, then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna turn around and fill that other one up. Ooh, and it looks like we got the perfect amount. Oh, yes, look at that. Now listen here, I have a couple other recipes for how to make sweet potato pie. I make one of them 
with um, pecans and brown sugar on the top. I make another one with marshmallows on the top. So I'm gonna connect those two videos. I'm gonna attach them to the end of this video. So after watching this video, you can go over to those videos and see which one you wanna make because they all are delicious. So now I'm gonna just scoot this one aside. These are going in the oven 350 degrees for around about 40 minutes. Yes, 40 minutes and don't rush them. Don't rush them. We got all the time in the world to make a delicious sweet potato pie, Gina Young style. When I come back, these will be out the oven. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer, and guess what? You all are gonna get that first bite. Be back. 350 degrees in the oven we go. Listen here, everybody. Look at this amazing sweet potato pie, Gina Young style. Make you some. Oh yes, look at it. So beautiful. So now we're not going to cut into this because I'm giving these pies out to someone. But if you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day, for loving and protecting us and keeping us safe. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Now listen here. If you all don't know, the whole month of December, every video that I do in December is going to be a Christmas um, dish. Something that you can put on your loved one's table for Christmas. Same thing that I did in November. We always do every December to give you guys um, great ideas for your Christmas. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.